Okay, we have this 2011 uh, X5 with the 35. This one has a weird problem, or had a weird problem. Um, the car will go into the limb mode and pretty much shut down the throttle, shut down half of its components. Uh, what happened is there is a fuse on the IVM, which is the power control module, and the fuse will blow and pretty much shut down most of the components. Um, this one went to another shop, to a good friend of mine. Let's roll back just a little bit. The customer just purchased this vehicle from the original owner and they had the issue I just mentioned. It. Um, but they didn't want to spend the money or the time to fix it, so they sold the car dirt cheap. Um, so the customer brought it here and I called the guy who initially worked on it, gave me the rundown what he did. So basically, it's blowing the fuse. I can show you which fuse right here. So is fuse 0 to 20 amps. It goes straight to the DME, powers the DME. And then um, all the highlight components here, those are the fault codes that came whenever the, the fuse will blow. So the main thing that this uh, fuse controls is the uh, relay for the ignition and injection system. And obviously it's going to be the waste gate for the turbo, charging pressure control, um, both oxygen sensors, Voltronic, and so on and so on. So before it will take two weeks for the fuse to, to burn. And then when the customer brought it in, we couldn't even move the car anymore. I mean, you start it up, you put it in the drive, the car dies. And the way I fixed it is, we come right here. This is the IVM module. We already cut it open, which I need to order a new one, by the way. Um, and then is this wire right here. This one is controlled by fuse FO2 and goes straight to the DMEs. So the way I figured this one out is I owned or checked this uh, wire from the fuse for shortness to ground. And with everything unplugged, there was no shortness. So that tells me the wire is good. And then I start plugging in each connector at the DME until I found the short. And then uh, pretty much on that connector, I followed, I followed every component to see which one is shortened. And ironically, which is not even on the bolt code, or it's not even at the uh, diagram, is the water pump was shorting everything out, causing the fuse to burn. So I had a bad water pump which was leaking, but the module was good. Plugged it in and everything was fine. So last night went to BMW, got a brand new water pump, installed it. And the car has been running for 15 minutes right now. No problem whatsoever. So this is a 1992 BMW 325i, um, we know it as the E36 chassis. It's been in the background in a lot of videos, it's been outside in the parking lot for a while. Um, this car actually sat in a field for like 15 years. So you could probably see that it's, it's a little rough. The customer is wanting to do a complete restore on it. So when it came in, it wasn't starting, it wasn't running, it wasn't shifting right. The door didn't shut. Um, so now we're actually kind of putting on the finishing touches. We replaced all the front suspension, lower control arms, uh, tie rods. I uh, just aligned it. We put new tires on it. Uh, got it running, did a transmission flush on it because it was super low on fluids, so it would sit there and pop out of gear all the time. Now it's going through all four gears. We did some wiring stuff on it because Rat's gone in there, chewed some wires up, uh, put a door latch in it. So we're just kind of buttoning it up so we can send it over to the body shop and uh, poultry shop and they can start doing that and they can actually start driving the car.
Ta-da! Never again. I promise you, never again. I will work on a car that comes here in buckets. But it's all together. And it was quite a journey. It's not 100% done. Uh, we're still waiting for a power steering cooler because they bent the crap out of it and this one is about to leak so I didn't put any power steering fluid but the car runs and it runs really 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 good um, I did not drive it because like I said we're still waiting for all the crap as you can see that needs all to go back together the gas is running on fumes. So I'm hoping the, the cooler will show up today. We'll just button everything up, take it around the block and then out of my hand. So last week we had a tornado come by say hi to us here you know and it was so close to the shop that I kind of freaked out a little bit so I came and drove around the shop and made sure everything was perfectly fine and it was the only thing we le uh, lost electricity that night uh, also I want to mention that my house is just two miles down from here my kids my daughter kind of freaked out a little bit but uh, my boy he didn't care um, you could see it from my house, but it was, I would say, about three miles away. I wouldn't say it's cool, but it's something you don't see every day, though. 